Hey, Scotch lovers. Hey, hey Scotch for dummies. dummies. Scotch for dummies. So, uh, it's a special edition right. tonight. We've got, uh, but this is we do, but this is a special special Extra edition. Special. How about that? I it can't is. believe we haven't done it so, yet. That's what's funny about it. So we're doing this uh, for our one year anniversary of, of having the Scotch Club and, and doing these reviews. So tonight, you guys may think this is a fairly common bottle, and, and it, it is. is. You can find it everywhere, right? It's we're doing the deal. Macallan 12. You find um, it in Costco. Finally got around to it. The, the reason we're doing the Macallan 12 is because this is the scotch that got us all together and got us started doing this stuff. Uh, so we were at my house one night playing cards, and Drew had tried Johnny Walker Black and a couple and others. Didn't like it. Didn't like any of them. And no, I happen to have. Hard. A little bit of booze at my house, so <laughs> while we were while we were sitting Lots around drinking and talking, I started breaking out different bottles, and this was the bottle that I broke out that's that started Drew, and it, he was like, was. you know what, this is not like any of the other scotches I've had. This is really good. I want to try <laughs> more, right? And and so that kind of led us naturally into this. Maybe not the video part, but we we did start drinking a lot. Yeah, of scotch. we yeah. started drinking a lot more scotch. So, well, we, we wanted to learn more. That was the whole point of this. We well, we haven't had this hour scotch hour, yeah. in like a Months. year. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been a year. It's really been a long time. Um, and not because we don't think it's a good scotch, just because there's so many scotches sure. to try. Kind of went down the rabbit hole. Right. So you know we've been actively sampling. <laughs> A lot of scotch. And, and kind of screwed ourselves in the meantime because now it's like, what, $30 more than it was yeah, back then? God, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little like expensive. It's bucks and I was I know. Around $70. So, yeah, yeah, so I, I just bought this bottle today and it was $72, <laughs> um, which uh, seems a little expensive for a 12 year old scotch, and I'm sure we're going to get some comments on that. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it is what it is, and yeah. that's the price of the store. And you know, we really wanted to kind of do this one as a special edition um, for our one year anniversary. For our one year anniversary. So been doing it a year. Talk, talk, about, talk, talk about to us about this bottle. Tell us. All right. What's so McAllen, um, obviously a huge distillery. Uh, there's a couple of uh, arguments as to how much liquid they're actually sitting on, whether they're the most, they've got the most cask whiskey in the world or not, or produce the most, but they're up there. Let's just say that. Yeah. Licensed in 1824. Hmm. Um, so oh, they've been around for a long or two. time. Um, I guess part of me is confused because I tried to do some research on McKellen and I read this and it says Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Oh, okay, it's a Highland. Right. I look on the map and I'm like, well, shit, it's in the middle of Spaceside. Why right right next to the river. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, dead center of Spaceside. Why are they it's call gotta it Scotch Whiskey? It's got to be a spin, right? So I'm reading the history, and actually the company that used to own them was called Highland Distilleries, and I'm like, well, maybe that's why they're maintaining it, but. I, I can't figure it out. So comments out there. Let's hear it because there are many websites that say it's a space side. Some say it's a Highland. Some say if you're a space side, you're by definition a Highland. Um, yeah. The bottle says it's just a whiskey. Highland. So <laughs> it is a Scotch whiskey. <laughs> whiskey. Um, but what was the quote that we saw? If you get it at Costco, it's a Kirk. It's a Kirk. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. So uh, this is uh, sherry cask, special sherry cask. Um, McCallum, uh <laughs> is very. Um, <laughs> so, say it. Just say it. Just say it. Let's go ahead and get it out of the what way. What do you smell? I smell all over time. Oh! <laughs> so, so McAllen is very clear that these they do not color this with this scotch. This is a natural color from the cask. They use pretty. new sherry, essentially new sherry casks um, to really pull that sherry flavor out. Long and age exclusively in sherry casks for those 12 years. 43 percent. So 12 year. So there you go. And one of the most famous whiskeys in the world. It really is. You know, it's so I, I will agree with Mark on the initial nose of this. Fresh out of the bottle, you do get some of the, that sulfury tire smell. But if you let it air, it does. Which it's getting better and better right now. You, it clears that out, yep. and you get you get down into that sherry. You know, I'm gonna say it coming. smells it's, like a Macallan. It's <laughs> it's definitely got that. That sherry nose to yeah, it, it, you know, and yeah, it smells sweet. coming out now. It smells much richer than I remember it even. And you shoot the big bitch. The fun that thing is, it doesn't good. smell as rubbery as I remember. No, I mean, honestly, I smell more of the sherry. I smell more of the richness in it. You know, it's, it's funny because we've talked about this scotch, but we lot. haven't had it in a long time, and I, I think my impressions of it are going to be different yeah, now that our palates have matured. Now that we kind of understand what we're tasting. 
it's going to be a whole different deal because it's been a year. Um, we've yeah. tasted an awful lot of scotch between now and then. It's the alcohol, still good. The alcohol's already gone off this. At first it was a little hot, but now it's gone. Now I'm getting all kinds of smells out of this. Well, it's still good. It, I, I see why we, we gathered around it to begin with. So, all right. Drew, you're up. Mm. Happy anniversary, brother. Mm. Mm. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> he said it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I was I, I was looking forward to this because I knew it was going to be different. But I was also a little kind of scared, thinking that I'm not gonna like it or something's gonna. It's actually pretty good. Um, <laughs> my palate has obviously matured a little bit, and um, I'm really liking this. Um, I got I'm not ready to talk yet because I want to I want to definitely taste it some more and get some water on this. But um, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, how I feel about it right now. So 43 percent. Gonna handle the water? Mm -hmm. I think so. You know what? Uh, it's got. Some, it's sweet. You know I'm not what? as. I'm not as big a fan with the water on it. That's just uh, me. Imagine that. That's just me. Well, you gotta go. I'm just gonna get more drop for that. That's good. So I'll start with this. Very light on the water. Okay. Do it up. All right. Here it goes. Uh -oh. McAllen. There's supposed to be smoke in there, I'm not tasting it. Oh, um, there is? Yeah, supposedly there's some smoke. Um, I'm not right. a big fan of this bottle, I'll tell you that much. And because I do get so much of that sulfur, and the sulfur pervades through the taste as well. Um, I don't get the iodine, I don't get, I, and, and quite honestly, for, now, for right now, as young as I just opened this, I am not getting the sherry coming through in the flavor like I would have liked. Um, and I'm actually kind of disappointed um, for, wow. for the price of this bottle. Um, now that it's 72, 73 bucks, it does change the game. I'm I'm gonna give this oh boy one five is big. I, for me, one five is big. Wow, right now. wowzer! Um, That's sorry, this, is, this is not a good bo good bottle for me. And uh, let's let's go around again. Um, give me a little more time to let it air out. Okay. But right now, I'm going to give it a 1.5. I am not impressed with this bottle. All right, Drew. It's a 1.15 one, one for me right now. Well, obviously, I don't remember a year ago, but I, I will say that now I know why I got it in Scotch. It's a good Scotch. I like it. Um, it's got some nice flavors to it. It's sweet. Um, it was a little hot at first, but now it's, it's really opened up. Um, I kind of agree with you, the water. Uh, I don't really want the water so much, but I'm, I'm not going to go, you just be quiet over there. Where am I getting the sweet? I'm not uh, getting the sweet out of this, guys. I'm, I'm I, get, today I'm I got sweet. Out. I got sweet, man. This, this is, is for water. The sherry, the sherry is definitely there. Um, I, I actually, I like Maybe this, guys. It's not, it's not, I've had better space sides. Um, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm going to go two. I think it's a great middle of the road scotch for me. Um, there, there absolutely is. You're right. No smoke. I don't. I don't know if there's supposed to be smoke or not. There's no smoke. Yeah, I don't know smoke. why they wear that. Um, from. But it's good. I think it can um, mm -hmm. probably on a, a, a glass of you know or a ball or something like that would be good in this one. But I'm gonna go two. All right. I'm good. Uh, so I'm gonna have a really hard time picking a number for this one. Oh no. Uh, so it, it's initially neat. I, I got a lot of the sweet. Um, it wasn't overly complex, but I got some of the sweet, but it was hot. It had some rough edges to it. Yeah. So I was hoping that a little bit of water would kind of take some of that roughness off and, and let some of those flavors kind of come through. And what actually happened was the rough edges stayed, but the sweetness and everything else kind of got tamped down. Yeah, the opposite from and, and it, it just too. wasn't... I'm adding more water and I'm starting to like it a little better. It, it wasn't quite what I had in mind. Uh, but neat, I, I actually enjoyed it and I, I can understand why we were drawn to this scotch. Um, at that time, we were drinking these with a rock. Yes. And we were definitely drinking So we were, for, for sure we were. Yep. And that I think is helping me from a standpoint. It's taking out, it, and maybe it's the aging and the cooling down and removing some of that sulfur smell. And it's giving a little more. It's a good getting a little more of that well, re regular space side flavor out of it. You know what? With a little bit more water, that kind of rounds it out a little bit more. It's it's not bad. Um, the the one thing that's really bringing this down for me though is the price for the oh, quality yeah, that you're getting. That's true. Um, 
You know, and, I mean, and if you give up seventy dollars, bucks, we can get some good we, scotch. Oh, oh I, I walked by a lot of good scotch that was at that price range or less to grab the spot. That's a great point. Um, <laughs> you know, and and to us, you, you, you know, texted it to us. And, you and, point and to blank, yeah, I I point blank texted these guys when I bought this and said I had to put a bottle down to pick this up, and Oof, I I know I literally had to make myself <laughs> put it down. No, do not do it. Uh, but I, I have been talking about picking up another bottle of this for a long time, and today was the day, so there you go. Uh, I, I hate to go, I don't know, I'm going to give it a two. Um, <laughs> I, I, was, a two. I, I was waffling between one five and a two. I, I am two. The flavor's, the flavor's not bad, but my problem with it is, for the quality that you're getting, it's not $70 worth of quality. I, I think we're all on the same point. I know he's going to say the same thing in a minute. It's one five and a two is where we're all at. And the price, if yeah. it was lower in price, it would help to be more positive than the two. Absolutely. But for sure, the price and everything else you're getting out of yeah. this, I mean, if, it's if this totally was a, a 40 or $50 dollar bottle, bottle, I'd give it a solid two. Yeah. You know, but for $72, I expect that's a lot more out of this. Because right. that's a lot of money. I can go get a couple of good bottles. Yeah. I, yeah, I can think of five off the top of my head that right now are really right good now. that are half of this price. Yep. So if I take price into point, I gotta give it a one five. But I'm gonna try try to not take the seventy dollars <laughs> into this you and know, just and I'm, I'm tasting and, what and I'm guys, smelling. So to, just that's to why I'm clarify, giving it too. I keep adding water and oh, it keeps yeah. getting better. It, okay. it does get better. So the, keep in mind when we first tasted this, we were drinking. Well, a some of our reviewers, rocket. Corey says he lets it air uh, breathe for as many minutes so, as it is yeah. years old. So twelve and, minutes. And I'm not saying as I'm sitting here, I put a little bit of extra water on here. It's been breathing the whole time. It, it's not an an a bad scotch. It's not unenjoyable at all. But it's not <laughs> okay. But there's a reason why this is so at every grocery it? store and every no, bar. It's a good I'm gonna give it a two. scotch. All right, it so really is. I start this out. Obviously, I'm gonna say it smells like a macau. It smells like a rubber tire right off the bat, and they can't knock me for it because they know it's true. But <laughs> you're right. I just said so. At, at, but I'll be honest with you. Um, it was a rubber tire, and it was pretty strong in the alcohol. It burned my sinuses a little bit. Put the water on it, um, and it's been breathing now for 10 minutes, and uh, the, the rubber smell has gone away. It smells a lot sweeter to me. I get that vanilla. I get that oak in there. Okay, all right. Um, the, sm the taste, it smooths out. It, it's a lot sweeter with water, to be quite honest really with you. Is. I, I, it it actually really is. That, that's um, unique for scotch. You, you, you almost have so, to put water on this right. kind of thing. And, and so I'm going to give it a two because it, it, it's it got something I like in it. I, to be honest with you, a year ago, I can't believe we sat around and drank half a bottle a night. I, I'd like a glass. Of, it's too sweet right now. For me. Mm -hmm. I really don't like it. That, but, that you know, we, we were a rock. You put a rock the... on it, maybe, that's watering yeah. down. And But I'm going to give it a two. I'm not crazy with their price point, jacking it up literally $20 on right. us in the last year. Um, in a year? Yeah. That's 50% a year. year. You know, I mean, McKellen is huge. They're one of the most widely known distilleries of scotch in, in the world. So... It's, they're doing something rare. right. Um, I'm going to stick with the two. I, you know, even the rubber smell has gone away after putting water on it. So yeah, I, I can't knock it for that, right? I, the more but, water I put on it, the, the better it's it getting. Um, that's crazy. So that this is completely contrary and it's still to every other good scotch flavor. You know, See, been, that's the thing. So I'm sitting here. I've got this probably diluted at least 50% water right now, which I never do scotches. And the finish is much nicer. Yeah. It's interesting. So bizarre. I can, it's bizarre to me. I can see why we probably like Absolutely, it. Absolutely, yeah. This we were drinking it with ice. This uh, is a yeah. great rock we, we, Yeah, we, did, we definitely had balls back then. We were putting it on. <laughs> ice balls. You guys still have balls. Still got Just saying, still have balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still do. I, I do. Uh, <laughs> can't take these kids anywhere. His, his wife keeps them, so he knows where they're at. They're at home in the locker. <laughs> in the freezer. In the freezer. <laughs> Oh shoot! <laughs> oh, so, oh yeah, that's right. 2012. Right. Um, what was special about it, though, is we've been doing this for a year. You've been doing it with us for a year. We're really thrilled that you have been. Hope you guys have enjoyed the last year. I know I've had a great time. Year. Great. I'm personally looking forward to the next. I year. really am too, because things are really heating up. We're really getting yep. rolling. We're we're kind of getting into our stride right now. Um, you know, we've, we've got a ton of subscribers now. We've lost a few subscribers. We've got a ton of likes. We've got a few dislikes. That's fine. Although, i got to say, I wish I knew what the dislikes were about. Is it the whiskey you disliked? Was well, yeah. it the review? But, 
It is what it is. We've made some converts. We've made some friends. We've made some friends. Absolutely. We've got subscribers all over the world. Who would have thought that? That's right. crazy. It's and nuts. to all of you uh, around the world, if you're yeah. ever in Indianapolis, Indiana, you got to see the Come on by. So, Come on by. And every time I look at the the comments and stuff, I'm amazed. I, I am so amazed. Cool. We love it. We really everybody do. gets into the conversation. So make sure you're going over to Facebook and checking us out because we're really doing a lot more over there sure too. Are. And uh, to a year, gentlemen. Absolutely. And to the next Scotch for dummies. Thank you. Year one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. McKellen 12. McKellen 12. Hey, Scotch lovers. Thanks for watching. Joining the conversation. More videos below. And hit subscribe before you go so you can get the new videos when they come out. Slash 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 Sl